Hi everyone, so today I have my updated makeup collection and storage video for you. It's been a while since I filmed one of these and a lot of you guys have been asking if you can see my updated collection, so I thought I would film it for you. If you want to check out my previous video, I will link it in the description box below, as well as a video that I have all about makeup storage and organization containers. That will also be in the description box below. I also wanted to let you know that I will have decluttering videos coming again soon. I'm actually going to be doing a round two where I will go through all of my drawers again and declutter so I'm excited about that because I know a lot of you guys like those videos and if you want to check out my previous ones those will also be in the description box below there will be a bunch of things related to this type of video in the description box below so don't forget to check them out and then lastly before we get into it of course I have to make the typical disclaimer and let you know that of course I have more makeup than the typical person needs or uses I film beauty videos so it comes with the territory I try a lot of products and things like that so of course of course no one needs this much makeup and I do declutter regularly but I just had to throw that out there before we got into it so if you guys are interested in seeing what I have in my collection and how I store it let's jump into it okay so I keep all of my makeup in this Alex six drawer I have two Alex six drawers actually stacked on top of each other I like these because the drawers are really really wide so it's perfect for being able to access all your makeup I used to keep it in this Alex nine drawer which I store other things in now but I didn't like those as much because I feel like this is just so much easier to kind of see everything when you open the drawers but really either of them are great options they're just from Ikea on top I just have my nail polish racks and if you guys have been with me since my nail polish loving days you are like an original subscriber so let me know in the comments below if you guys remember when I was nail polish obsessed oh really quickly I do keep a bunch of products over here on my vanity it's a little messy right now these are just products that I'm constantly trying out or reaching for I have a bad basket right there of things that I need to try out and then in my vanity I actually do everyday makeup drawer videos on my on my channel um, every single month I switch it out and show you guys what I'll be using for the month so if you want to check those out I will link them in the description box below but these are just like my most used products or things that I want to try out for the month Okay, so in this drawer, I just have a bunch of different products. I have a lot of products that I either have to try out to review on my channel, I have some recent purchases, or I have some backups, or things that I'm keeping for a giveaway. So basically, anything that is unopened goes in this drawer. I have a few unopened things mixed in the other drawers, but for the most part, it goes in here and it just becomes like a super random drawer. So back here, I keep makeup remover wipes. I need to restock on my elf. And then I have a couple of products back Back here I have a few from it cosmetics can you believe I still haven't really played with the tartlet palette I want to use this so bad but I'm trying out like four different eyeshadow palettes right now so I next month I will finally get to this I have my watercolor lip glosses from bite beauty I've I've worn them a little bit but not as much as I would like to and then I have a few products for giveaways I have some of these Too Faced bronzers I've been trying out a few different ones so these are the few that I haven't tried yet because they sent me a million bronzers which was so kind of them but I still have to try these and then I have a backup of the It Cosmetics CC Plus which I love the Urban Decay Naked Skin I haven't tried this yet I have a few unopened mascaras back there some recent lip products that I showed in an Ulta haul video another mascara and then back here I just have a few makeup samples and then some of these skincare masks I just keep them right up here for easy access and then over here I keep a basket with all of my lip liners so that's everything I have in the first drawer. It's a little bit random, but I just kind of throw things in here that I'm not exactly sure where to put anywhere else. In my second drawer, I have a bunch of different face products. I got these baskets actually from Walmart. They were super, super cheap. They're definitely the most affordable organization tools that I have in my entire makeup collection. And I kind of wish I just got these baskets for the whole thing because the clear containers can get a little bit pricey. So if you have these Alex 9 drawers or Alex six drawers, I definitely recommend these just because they fit really nicely in here. But um, I just have face products in here. So back here I have a few different contour palettes. And then I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer I have water. a few unopened face primers. Here's another face primer. I have a lot of face primers. I have a bunch of the e.l.f. Cosmetics face primers just right here in the front. I don't know if you guys can see them. So I have everything from like Tarte, um, Maybelline, e.l.f., Julep. This one's by Jouer, Cover FX, City Color Cosmetics, Mirabella. I really like trying new face primers. In the next basket. I just have concealers so I have this one from it cosmetics it's the bye bye under eye I have a few of the it cosmetics CC plus 
Um, this one is from e.l.f. I believe that I have like a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Yeah, I have a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. These are just mostly under eye concealers that I keep in this basket. So I have some beauty blenders back here and then I have some like sunscreens I mostly keep and I get them from subscription boxes so a lot of them are from the brand Kula. I have foundations. I don't have too many foundations because I usually have like a regular foundation that I use and I keep it over on my vanity but I do have a few because I try out some from time to time. I have the Revlon Color Stay because I love those. I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous because this is one of my favorites as well. Then I just have this Revlon Color Stay Whipped and then some of these Cover FX um, Custom Cover Drops. And then over here I have a few. I have the Gorgeous Cosmetics Base Perfect Liquid Foundation, which is one of my favorites. And then I also have this one, which I think I'm kind of hanging on to for winter. It is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle because it is super moisturizing. If you have dry skin, you would love this foundation. And then under here I just have the e.l.f. foundation quad that I got recently and a Revlon face powder. So in the back I just have a few other things. I have the Pons BB Plus and then I usually keep my IT Cosmetics CC Plus cream in there as well because that is like the only BB cream and CC cream that I will use. So I have the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum and then I have some makeup setting sprays. So I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. That one is my favorite. I have this one from e.l.f. Cosmetics and then I just have another one that I recently got in a subscription box and I also have like the e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick over there. Back here I have some face powders. So I have the e.l.f. High Definition, that's the loose face powder, this Too Faced Primed and Poreless powder, and then these two are from CoverGirl, a little Maybelline I think this is their Dream Matte Powder. I don't even know if they make this one anymore. And then two from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And then in the very back, I just have some random things. I have an IT Cosmetics Powder Foundation, the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder, and then a little Makeup Forever Powder. If you guys want, I can definitely do collection videos where I pull out all of my blushes and go through them one by one, show you guys my favorites and swatches and things like that. But for the most part, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of how I store things. So let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you for sure. But these containers are from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I get these in the kitchen aisle. And these are really, really perfect for blushes and bronzers. They actually have a rubber bottom. So when you open and close the drawer, they don't really move around, which I think is super, super convenient. But they are a little bit more expensive, especially if you have to buy a bunch of them. But I really do like them. So over here, I have my blushes. So so right in the front I just have my Becca Cosmetics blush in Damselfly. These are some of my favorite blushes because they are so pigmented and they blend so beautifully on the skin. I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. I have a few of those right here. This one is from Madel Co. This one is Milani. Um, a few random ones from subscription boxes and then back here I have some of the City Color B Matte blushes which are really great as well. Then I have this Wet n Wild blush and then I have a few from the Balm. I love these In Stain blushes. They are amazing and I definitely want to pick up a few more of them. I have Hot Mama and then a few other Balm blushes. And then back here I just have some of my Benefit Boxed Powder blushes. I really like these. They're super pigmented and beautiful. I would definitely recommend Coralie Style and Sugar Bomb, or this one's Sugar Bomb, and this one's Bella Bomba. They are so, so pretty. And if you like shimmery blushes, you are definitely going to like these. Moving over here, I have highlighters and bronzers. I'm not huge into highlighters, so these are like the only highlighters I have. I might have two in my vanity, but for the most part, I just have very few. So I have this one from Tarte, this one from e.l.f., this one's really great from The Balm. It's the Mary Luminizer. This one from MAC, and this one from Gorgeous Cosmetics. Back here, I have bronzers, and I don't have a ton of bronzers either, but I have a few. This one is from Becca Cosmetics, Ofra, and then I have a few from City Color Cosmetics. They're B matte bronzers are really great just because they go on the skin really nicely. This one from Jane and then that one from Metal Coat and there's a Lorac one way in the back. Right here in the front I have some more blushes. This one's from Milani. I have a few from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are their mineral blushes and I really like these. This one's from e.l.f. It's a baked blush. I have Lorac and Model Co. These are the NYX blushes. I decluttered quite a few of those but I do really like these. They're just a great drugstore option if you're looking for something affordable. I have this one from e.l.f., this one from Sleek, these are e.l.f. blushes, and then a little cargo blush. 
And then back here I have my e.l.f. bronzing and blush duos. Um, a bronzer from The Balm and then some bronzers and highlighters. I have Benefit, Too Faced, e.l.f., Tarte, and Pixi. Way in the back I just have like a few, those are all of my like liquid face products. I'm definitely more of a powder fan as you guys can tell. The only things that I have over here are a few different palettes. I have the new e.l.f., these are like their bronzer, contour, and blush palette. And then I have this one from City Color Cosmetics and then this one from NARS, which these are like the only NARS blush and bronzer and highlighters that I own, but I love this palette just because it's a great way to be able to try them without spending like the full price. I got these again from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They are just found in the kitchen section and they have rubber on them so when you move this they don't slide around. These are actually from Hot Look and these do move around, but they're just really convenient for storing small lip glosses or even like smaller products like eyeshadows and things like that. Hot Look has really good makeup organization from time to time so I would definitely recommend checking on there if you're looking for makeup organization. So over here I just have my Gerard Cosmetics um, Color Your Smile lip glosses. I like these but I don't really end up using them too much. They're they're really old. Like I had those for a really long time so it's probably time to declutter those. I am going to do more decluttering videos soon so stay tuned for those. Then I have my Lorac Lips with Benefits lip glosses. I really like these. I get these on Hot Look as well for like four or five dollars. It's such a good deal. And then these are my Stila lip glazes. I love these so much. I have like a bunch of different colors. I usually get these in like a holiday set and I love these. Like if I'm running out the door I always reach for one of these. Over here I just have my NYX Butter Glosses. I really like these as well and they're just really convenient to throw over a lipstick or to wear them on their own because they are just, they're so nice and glossy but they're not sticky. They're just probably like the most comfortable lip glosses I have and they come in so many colors. Like they literally have every color under the sun. Over here I have some of the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses which are great as well and then I have a couple of the e.l.f. Extra lip glosses which these are super pigmented, really creamy and hydrating. Back here I have some random ones, like I have some NYX Lip Plumpers, which I never wear, I need to actually get rid of those as well, and then a few of the Tarte Lip Surgeons lip glosses back there. Over here I have just more lip glosses, these are just smaller so they're great to throw in your bag, I mean any lip gloss fits in your bag, so <laughs> these are just mini ones, so these are from Bite Beauty, which I love, these are L'Oreal, Buxom, the e.l.f. Glossy Glosses, I have some random ones like Bare Minerals, Buxom, um, the Maybelline lip glosses, and then these ones are just like squeezy tubes. I have a bunch of mini ones and then the Smashbox Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquers are in this drawer. So I, I kind of have a mix between like super sheer glosses like these and then super pigmented glosses like the Smashbox ones or um, even these e.l.f. ones are pretty pigmented. So the next drawer has all of my lipsticks in it. Over here I have all of my e.l.f. matte lip colors. They have come out with so many lip colors over the months. I think a ColourPop lippy stick snuck in there, but I love these. These are a great option if you're looking for a matte lip color and you want something affordable. I just, I really like these. I also have any other lip pencils, so I have like some from Stila, a few ColourPop ones, just any kind of lip pencil goes in here. Back here I have my Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipsticks. I love these. And then in the back I have some from City Color Cosmetics. Up here in the front I have some of my liquid lipsticks. I just have one ColourPop because I keep the rest on my vanity. And then I have the new Meat Matte Hues. These are from the Balm and I love these. These smell so good. They smell like fruit. I love the way the Balm's lip products smell. They smell amazing. And then under here I have a few brands. So I have Ofra Cosmetics, um, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks, one from Sephora, Cynthia Rally. Just any of my liquid lipsticks go in this drawer. I actually got these containers. These are two separate containers from Target in the bathroom section and they're really great for these drawers, for the larger drawers because they fit in there really nicely and if you have the Alex 9 drawer, they fit in there really great as well and they also fit in my vanity drawer. So these are a really great option if you have any of those makeup storage pieces and you're looking for containers. Right here I just have any of my like jumbo pencils, jumbo crayons, so I have Revlon, um, Laca & Co, Wet n Wild, Tarte, uh, just random brands. Back here I have lip balms, so I have Mary Kay, I have some from a local store um, near us, a lip exfoliator, any of like lip treatment 
products go in here. Over here I have my lipsticks. I actually store these in one of these little containers. These are awesome. These are from Target in the closet section, but they just have three little compartments and they're only a few dollars. And lipsticks actually work really well in these. You definitely don't need to go out and buy the acrylic lipstick holders. I like those too, but this saves so much room. Like look how many lipsticks this is holding. It's holding a million and they just stand up really nicely. So that's a great alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money on storage. But I just have all kinds of lipsticks. Most of mine are from the drugstore. I have Milani, Maybelline, City Color Cosmetics. Then I have Rimmel, a bunch of Wet n Wild. I really, really like these matte lipsticks. And then NYX, sorry, my arm. This one has to like reach around the tripod, so it's it's a little awkward, so I'm like reaching across. <laughs> but this one is like um, Benefit. Over here I have some e.l.f. moisturizing lipsticks, and then a few random brands. Urban Decay, Pixie, um, I don't even know what the, half of these are. This one's Kevin Aquan, Ter Tarina Tarantino, NYX. Um, anything random just kind of goes in this spot. Then I have some of the NYX matte lipsticks, which I love. I lay those on their side because you can't tell what color they are when you're looking at the top or the bottom of them. And then over there, I just have Too Faced, Urban Decay, a NARS lipstick. And then way in the back, I have some of the e.l.f. lipsticks, and I keep them on their side so you can see the color. I have some of the NYX matte lipsticks and um, longwear lip creams. And then back here, I have some of the e.l.f. lip balms and just some mini lipsticks. So. I actually have an entire video on my eyeshadow palette collection. If you guys want to check it out. I will link it in the description box below. And not really a lot has changed, so I won't go through them all individually, but I just use these baskets again that I got from Walmart because that way you can stand them up and you don't necessarily have to stack them on top of each other. And I feel like it's just a great way to be able to see everything that you have. So of course I have my Urban Decay Naked Palettes, Lorac, It Cosmetics, Back here I have Smashbox, Anastasia, Coastal Scents. In there I just have a few random ones like Smashbox, Gorgeous Cosmetics, a MAC palette which still only has one MAC eyeshadow. Over here I just have a few Coastal Scents palettes. These are great because they're affordable and they are super pigmented. This one from The Balm which is Meat Matte. A NARS palette, Urban Decay, the Lorac palettes, and then back there I have like Stila, Too Faced, Lorac Mega Pro, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and then over here to the right I just keep like Lorac, Too Faced, Tarte, um, Maybelline, and another Lorac palette. So I just keep any of my eyeshadow palettes in this drawer. And then in this drawer I just keep all of my eyeshadows. So I have eyeshadow bases, cream eyeshadows, um, single eyeshadows, just little quads from the drugstore, things like that. So I just reorganized this one and I feel like I can actually see all of them now. So I got this one from TJ Maxx, this container. I got these containers from Target. This is just a three drawer one. And then this one actually comes with a bunch of different compartments. This eyeshadow container is from by allegory and then I just have a little kind of drawer one from TJ Maxx so over here I have some elf eyeshadow palettes this one is from elf we have a city color cosmetics and then a noir palette back here well I'll start in the front I have Maybelline quads these are my favorite quads from the drugstore they're really really great so I have a few of those and then I have a couple of my color pop shadows I usually keep most of these in my everyday makeup drawer but I just have a few in here that I'm not currently using at the moment. Over here I have my e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadows and then I have the e.l.f. Smudge Pots which are great. They're definitely an affordable option if you want a good cream eyeshadow base. And then I have my Maybelline Color Tattoos and then way in the back, back here, I have a couple of cream shadow bases, a few of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, things like that. And then over there I have pigments. I have a few from Buxom. I just got these fairly recently. I actually redeemed my Ipsy points for them. And and so far they're okay. I'm not 100% sold on them, but I do like them. Back here I have some of the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow Trios and then some L'Oreal single, sh single Shadows. And then back there, I won't get too much into it, but I have like the e.l.f. Um, pressed Mineral Eyeshadows, Milani, All May, Urban Decay, Be A Bombshell, just like a few random brands back there. This drawer looks a little bit messy. It's kind of like organized chaos, but I just have a bunch of eye products. So I have like a bunch of eye pencils and believe it or not I get rid of these so regularly but I get so many of them in like subscription boxes or I just purchase them from the drugstore or things like that so I have all different kinds of brands in here I have Rimmel London I have a bunch of Tarte, Elf, 
um, Urban Decay, those are some of my favorite. Just a few random brands and I just keep all of my pencil liners right here in case I'm looking for one. And then right in the front here I have some of the new Stila Cushion Gel Liners. Those are so good. So I just have them there for easy access. I have a bunch of, this is like a gel liner from Smashbox or liquid liners. I have one from The Balm, um, Benefit, Cynthia Rally, Maybelline Elf, like all kinds of liquid liners in there. Back here I have brow products. I'm pretty loyal to my brow products but I do have a few from Anastasia in case I want to switch it out. Um, I have e.l.f. and then I have it cosmetics, just like a few random ones. Back there I have some gel liners. Right here I have a bunch of mascaras and then these are some mascaras as well. Way over there I have unopened mascaras, an eyeliner, some eyelashes. I really need to replenish my eyelash stock. It is super empty. I have this one from Too Faced, um, Carez, Terina, Tarantino, I can never say that, e.l.f., Tarte, um, Benefit, Lancome. I just have like a lot of deluxe eye samples and things like that in there. So this is my skincare drawer. The only place that I've actually really gotten skincare is from subscription boxes. So if you are in need of skincare, just subscribe to Glossy Box, Birch Box, uh, Boxy Charm, and you will be overwhelmed with skincare products, which is awesome because I really like trying them. They're just a little pricey, so it's great to get them in my subscriptions. So over here, I just have moisturizers and day creams, and then these two are serums. I actually got these little pink containers from Target in the dollar section, which is great. They're perfect at holding these products. Um, over here I have some facial scrubs. Back there I have foil samples and foil packets, which I use when I travel. And last time I did this, a lot of people were like, you should just donate those. But trust me, I go through my collection at least once a week and take things out and give them away to people. But um, it's good to have things because since I am, you know, a vlogger, I like to try things out and leave you guys recommendations and things like that. And then over here I just have some facial masks. These are a bunch of sheet masks, which I love sheet masks. They're some of my favorites. So I have some that I love. I've actually purchased all of these from Birchbox. And then a few I've gotten in subscription boxes. Back there I have some full-size products like Benefit, Philosophy, um, just things that I'm not using at the moment or things that I'm saving for the winter time. And this is my hair care drawer, which this one looks a little bit out of hand as well. I should probably go through and declutter this one because it has been a little while. I just store everything in glossy boxes and glossy box lids, which are great for storage because they're free with a glossy box subscription, but they're really sturdy, so they hold things really well. So I have a lot of deluxe size samples. I have like hairsprays, styling products. Um, those are all styling products. And then the bottom is like shampoos, conditioners, and deep conditioning treatments. And then the very last drawer just holds some makeup organization tools. So I have a bunch of acrylic organizers from Biallegory and Hot Look that I'm just not currently using at the moment, but I'm constantly changing up my makeup organization. So I just keep them down there because I'm always switching things in and out. So there is a chance that I will reuse them. And then just some empty candle jars from Bath and Body Works.